Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are starting with first chapter in reproduction unit of class 12th biology syllabus. That is reproduction in organism. Dear friends, our earth is home to countless plants and species, all of which can live only for a limited time span and are bound to die. Yet, these species have existed for thousands of years. That's because living organism can reproduce. That is, they give rise to offsprings which in turn grow and reproduce their own offspring of the same kind. This not only ensures survival of the species generation after generation. Let's start with lifespan. Lifespan is the period from birth to the natural death of an organism. We have wide range of lifespan. Shortest lifespan is of a fly, mayfly, which can live up to 24 hours or we can say for a day. Among the longest lifespan, Tortoise can survive up to 300 to 400 years. Yes, 300 to 400 years. Dear friends, there is one line written in your NCERT book. No individual is immortal except single-celled organism. What does this line mean? Actually, the organisms divided by binary fission are considered as immortal. Because one organism divides into two, these two organisms again grow into adult organism and then that adult organism again divide and the process continues. That's why it is said that single-celled organisms are immortal. Lifespan are variable as you can observe in the diagram given in the NCRT book. That lifespan are variable and not necessarily correlated with their sizes. For example, crow and parrots are not very different. Yet, their lifespans shows a wide difference. Where crow can live for maximum of 15 years, parrot can live up to 140 years. Lifespan, which is actually journey of an organism, from their birth to natural death has been divided into five phases. Birth, juvenile phase, reproductive phase, aging or senescence and death. Juvenile phase is actually the non-reproductive growth phase then reproductive phase the reproductive phase which we will talk in detail in this video lecture aging or senescence aging is progressive deterioration in body of living organism or we can say it is the process of growing older and finally death which is permanent cessation of all vital activities. So let's begin the reproductive phase of lifespan. As we have seen that death is the integral part of a lifespan of an organism. And we all know that death 
leads to decrease in the number of species. So, there is one phenomenon which will maintain the number of the organism in the environment. And that biological process is called as reproduction. So, what is reproduction? Reproduction is the biological process in which an organism gives rise to an offspring similar to itself. Why this is important? It helps to maintain the number of species and also ensures continuity of similar kind of individuals. Reproduction also helps in transfer of characters from one generation to the next generation. There are two types of reproduction, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, the reproduction takes place from single parent. That is, in this type of reproduction, only one parent is involved. Whereas, in sexual reproduction, two parents are involved. Another important point in this asexual reproduction is that there is no fusion of gametes. Whereas, in sexual reproduction, formation and fusion of gametes take place. One more difference we need to understand here is if an organism is reproducing asexually, the type of division takes place here is only mitotic division. I repeat, only mitotic division takes place in asexual reproduction. Whereas, if sexual reproduction is taking place, then for gamete formation, meiosis is required and then gamete fused fertilization occurs and zygote is formed. The zygote divides by mitosis. So, here in sexual reproduction, meiosis and mitosis, both types of division are taking place. We also know that mitotic division is going to result into the formation of daughter cells that is going to be identical to their parent cell. So, genetically identical daughter cells are produced which we use to call as clone. This is very important. Clone is genetically and morphologically identical to their parents. Whereas in sexual reproduction, recombinants are produced because of the fusion of male and female gametes and because of the recombination, the product, the offspring shows variation. So these are the basic difference between asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction.